The ongoing debate over the best ways to help people on the streets of downtown Victoria is about to land back in the lap of City Council. How to clean up and how to assist drug users are the questions. Members of the group Harm Reduction Victoria will make their plea to Council on why they feel a fixed location is needed for a needle exchange and why they think the city is not doing enough to help people who are down and out. Members of Harm Reduction Victoria were in the mayor's office this morning. Tomorrow night, the community group will ask council to expand on services for drug users. Bruce Wallace will be there. When they were elected, they set up five uh, priorities, one of those being to increase harm reduction services. So we're saying, you know, act on your promise and, and, and act on the evidence and, and let's get this going now. That's something the mayor recognizes. It is our top priority. Um, the pace has been slower than we've wanted, but we recognize that to be successful, we're going to need many things. The mayor says he believes several small community-based needle sites are the answer to controlling the drug problems in Greater Victoria. But before that can happen, many cards have to fall into place. So that is about making sure it's in the right place, with the right supports, uh, with the right funding, to make sure that we can mitigate any sort of impact on the larger communities. Nearly two years ago, the city closed the only safe needle exchange on Cormorant Street after neighbours complained the evidence of the drug use littered the area. Wallace says it's time to give it another shot, this time with more elements, including supervised consumption services and support for users trying to conquer their addictions. This is a formula that's worked um, when the city wants to address homelessness. The city comes forward with the site, the province can come in with the housing, the health authority can come in with the support. The Vancouver Island Health Authority says it's working on finding a site for a fixed needle exchange. But in the meantime, they're expanding mobile services on the island. It's needle exchange out of a drawer, and it's, uh, it's something that's been used at Vancouver Coastal for the last five years, and it's worked very well there. Okay. Is, okay, is there anything else you need? For now, drug users are given supplies and support by mobile nurses or services like this, provided by nonprofit groups like the Victoria AIDS Resource Community Services Society. Harm Reduction Victoria says the city needs to act now on finding a location for a fixed site and not just for the users. And yes, it is going to save lives. We know that. And it's also going to help not just the people who need the services, but Victoria in general. Something the mayor and council will hear all about tomorrow night. Louise Hartland joins us now with more on the story. Louise, are there any other issues that Harm Reduction Victoria plans to bring before council tomorrow? Yes, they plan to ask council to get rid of the no-go zone around St. Andrews Elementary School. They say drug users in that four-block radius also need access to services. All right, we'll watch and see what happens to council. Louise Hartland, thank you.